Welcome to Terra Special. In this video tutorial, we are going to discuss about the plugins in QGIS. I am going to also tell you how to find and install those plugins in QGIS. So once you have opened your QGIS, now we directly open the uh, empty template. And on the top, you can find the option plugins. So please do keep it in mind when you want to install plugins from QGIS server we must have an active internet connection so please do keep that in mind after uh, hitting the plugins select the option manage and install plugins and uh, you can see there are around uh, 933 plugins which are available from QGIS and uh, you can just see it on the top these are the plugins which are be, which are available for download for uh, download and you can see the install plugins by selecting the install option these are the plugins which are being installed in this QGIS desktop you can find the non not installed plugins also you can also install from zip that i'll be telling you Finally, you can uh, see the option settings here. If you come here, uh, you can uh, select few options on the top. You can uh, uh, check for updates on startup. You can just enable it or uh, if you don't want, you can just leave it. And you can also find some more uh, tools which are available. For example, you can see experimental plugins. So if you click, the experimental pl plugins will be also shown you in the results. So these are uh, not suitable for production because it is in the early stages of development. So you should uh, consider these uh, tools. That is what QG is also saying. You can just check in. Experimental plugins are generally unsuitable for production use. These plugins are in early stage of development and should be considered incomplete or proof of concept tools. QGIS does not recommend install these plugins unless you intend to use use them for testing purposes so this is what QGIS is telling us and you can see uh, you can also see so also test created plugins these plugins are generally unsuitable for production use these plugins are unmaintained it is not being updated or uh, it uh, the bug is not being rectified and it uh, should be considered as a absolute tools QGIS does not recommend installing these plugins unless you still need it and there are no other alternative available. So if you don't have any alternative, you can use it. That is what QGIS is also, telling, uh, is also saying. But uh, please do keep it in mind. These are unmaintained uh, plugins. So I am just uh, deselecting this option and I am also deselecting the show experimental plugins. So you can also find the plugins in QGIS. Open your browser in the QGIS website. Open the browser and type in QGIS. If you come down, you can find the option QGIS plugins. Select it. Here you can find the QGIS plugins. You can uh, by clicking this link, you can uh, just download the available plugins. You can also check in the featured plugins, which are uh, the featured plugins in QGIS, updated plugins in QGIS, and most popular plugins. And now click this link. So after clicking this link, a lot of plugins will be shown here. So here, in the uh, left hand side corner, you can find the featured plugin, stable plugin, new plugins, updated plugins. Likewise, you can see a lot of uh, categories has been available. If you click on stable, the stable plugins will be shown up to you. Like, like you can see over here. The red color which is this, uh, which is uh, unstable version. They are displicated plugins. You can check in over here. So always please do keep it in mind. If you don't have any option, you can use it. You can just, uh, um, for example, I'm just uh, clicking this uh, tool. 
plugin you can directly download this plugin if you download this plugin it will be uh, downloaded in a zip file format that can be installed from QGIS just open your QGIS here select the option install from zip just browse the file and hit the button install plugin it will be automatically installed otherwise you can directly install using this option on the top you can find the search button here we are going to see a few uh, plugins which are uh, useful so for example data plotting you can see here data plotting so this is the tool you can hit the button install plugin so within a few seconds it will be installed so it has been installed successfully and uh, for example if you are using a plugin for uh, two to three months there will be uh, there will be some updates that uh, that will be shown up here as a separate option you can see upgrade our plugins like this currently it is not showing for me otherwise it used to show like that upgradable plugins there you can click in and upgrade your plugins directly here there will be another option called as upgradable plugins so let us uh, find the next uh, plugin quick map service this is another plugin so for me it is already been installed you can uninstall this plugin using this option or reinstall this so the next tool is just we are going to look into the mm qjs plugin a collection of qjs vector layer operation plugin install this plugin and the next plugin is quick OSM plugin these are useful plugins in QGIS there are also many uh, a lot of plugins are available so based on our need we can uh, download and install those plugins finally we are going to install the semi-automatic plugin so it is uh, completely uh, dedicated for remote sensing based analysis semi-automatic classification plugin install the plugin and finally I will be showing you another plugin where, where, uh, which is uh, useful for uh, downloading the sorry for uh, creating base maps you can use this plugin HCMGAS a lot of uh, base map is available you can prepare a lot of base map using this plugin you can also install this plugin it will be useful now let me close this so now we have already uh, downloaded and installed few uh, plugins that you can find on the top in the toolbar section you can find the plugins over here HCMJS plugin, MMQJS plugin, semi automatic plugin. Some of the tools will be available on the top, and some you can find it on the toolbar. It will be available as a toolbar like this plugin, data plotting. You can see it over here, and uh, this is the semi automatic uh, classification plugin. You can also find the semi automatic classification plugin in the panel also it will be available in the panel also so likewise you can uh, download and install plugins in QJS and you can fi fi find it in the top or in the it will be available as a toolbar like this or it will be available as a panels that you can see over here you can say, uh, find the data plotting here also in under the plugins you can find the data plotting in like that you can find the QOSM that you can find it over here so likewise you can uh, use these tools 
So thanks for watching this video. Please do subscribe the channel. And if you have any doubts in this video, please do ask in the comment section. Thanks for watching. Goodbye everyone.